Coming up on The Journey. Archbishop Iglesias Krabi Borokate Didi, the former Bishop of Niger Delta North, and second Bishop of Niger Delta North, the Archbishop, former Archbishop of the province of Niger Delta, and then the former Dean of Church of Nigeria, I'm called Dean and Editors of Church of Nigeria. Um, I am also the chairman of the Christian Council of the East. When I was in service, and the Grand Patriot of the in Nigeria for six years. I was born on 23rd August 1948. The family of His uh, Royal Highness, the Chief of Moscate, and the Margaret and that thing. I started my school, studying school at the age of six and 1954. And this, instead of eight years, this six years, I ended my school in 1959. My primary school. And then got to secondary school in 1962, High School Abba. My primary school is in Paris. I was in school. My secondary school, Ibn High School, Abba, from 1962 to 66. And this is seven, I went to government secondary school, where the world broke out. 67, we are all sent home. So I was in Biafra, in the East, from 1967. 1970, the war ended. I nearly lost my life there. So, about two, three times, it was glory. After the war, I came back. I was employed to teach in a secondary school with my school sat. I taught at a school called Matagori High School in Nandi. I taught for a president. I took I wrote in physics, mathematics, class one, two, and then four. But they asked me to After that, I worked briefly at the high court and then went to school. College of Science and Technology, now called the University of Science Technology, University. I did my A level there. Physics, chemistry, mathematics, and then moved to Amadou University. 1973, to do mechanical engineering, 1976. And my new service called 1976 77 at Lagos, the Nigerian Army Engineers. I think I went back home 
I talked with him and then moved into engineering. I was a principal in school. I also worked with engineering. Um, mechanical I cleaned them. I worked with uh, General Plastics, General Mercantile and other engineering companies. But rather than send me abroad to study, to work with uh, their partners abroad. Then by 1981, I was called since 73 to be a minister, but I, I ignored it. 73, God told me four things, brother. I gave my life to Christ, 71. Minister of Scripture Union, 73, I was on the prayer of the the Holy Spirit. I was fasting for seven days in 73, 1973. God told me four things. When he said I should remain in the Anglican church, I wasn't in there before. He said I should remain. I wouldn't believe because it was bad then. It was very, very bad. People are coming to us off, saying nobody cares for anything. Best I should remain in the Anglican church. He didn't tell me why I should remain, but he said I should remain. I had been with him for about five minutes. I wanted to join the Apostolic Faith Church because I was a member member because I had a romance with them. There was a pastor there with the who was my spiritual father at that time. I wasn't their member. But he knew I was a Christian. I was going to join them, but God said I should remain in the Anglican Church, doing the fasting and prayer. Number two said, I was going to Melbourne University. In those days, if you apply to Melbourne and Bill University, if you want to apply to university, you are, you don't go and jump. You apply to the university. I didn't apply to the university. He told me I was going to the university. I thought it was very to me because it never happened before. I said, How can I have money? I didn't apply to the university. I couldn't have done them because the war just ended there. The war just ended. How did I go to the university? The boss said, I was going to I argued. I said, How can I do? He told me how long I was going to live on earth. I told me how long I was going to live on earth. And I said, I'll spend a letter immediately. By night, immediately. And that came to be, you've been posted to Amandula University of Medical Engineering. That was when I knew that all the other professors were right. So, and he called me to be silent, I was going to be a minister. I didn't understand what it meant. 73. So it won, he said, it's kind of calling me, I was working, but I wasn't feeling comfortable working. And then I had to leave my job, go back to teach so I could go to school. I went to Trinity College in my for some good course. I was a graduate there in the engineering. So I was there. By 85, I was ordained a pastor deacon. The officials were written against me, but I was a member of the Scripture Union. I was going to spoil the church, I was going to damage the church. I was going to do it. But the following year, Bishop Eleanor, uh, my, who obeyed me, told me that he was going to obey me. He knew I was born again. In 1986, July, he ordained me a deacon. It was not easy. It was not easy at all. He ordained. For the following year, I was ordained. After 87, I was made a priest. I was working as a pastor. And then by, I opened a new church in Budokri, they called Budokri, it was a mad church in Budokri, to a new church. By 1992, the bishop made me a canon. 1995, 1995, I became an adjective. He really made an adjective. There were problems, but God led us through these problems. Let me get back. I managed 1975, I managed my wife, Beatrice Cutting, which is Beatrice Cutting. She has helped me so much in life and ministry. And I thank God that I married her. She helped me so much in my personal life, family life, in my ministry. So I became a, a magic in 19. 95. By 2000, I was a bishop in Bahala, problems. 
I was to be on the Cape on, on December, on March 26th. But before the petition was against me, it was delayed. I was convicted on um, June 4th, 2000. My mates were convicted on March 26th. To be like, they are, Papa Kerala was made the prime major of the day. The day after the he was the first person to convict. The convicted first on December 26th, March 26th. I was not convicted, so by. On June 4th, after examination by Joseph Kalibu, while he was in Chancellor and Papa Kerala, I remained Joseph Kalibu a bishop. And then June 7th, I was enthroned. Not that I it was not easy. For the first five years, I have been for 20 years. I was not accepted as a bishop. People were against me, they refused to obey, and all of this. But I stood my ground. The reputation against me, the primates, the thing, the man who was there, um, the previous day and thought he was going to be that bishop, the bishop. So he made that difficult for me. That I had to leave the bishop court. The next bishop, I had to leave the court and leave my place from 2002 December. I went my home all through. But with our size, with the cathedral, my train of train, my mission train of train of the cathedral, I was, we had the people who against me, we, we had the money, they said I was a thief. They come also and then we placard. But I thank God that uh, it was resolved by Papa Kiola. I started work. In my work as a bishop, we went to a missionary work. We had pastors, we sent pastors to Cameroon, Sierra Leone, Southern Sudan, Philippines, Canada, Italy, Gabon, Madagascar. I have the coast, that's the so last thing there right now. We sent me to I had a two mission field, two mission. Uh, one was a home mission and a foreign mission. A foreign mission was doing very, very well. And then we were changing maybe six years or so, depending. Um, as a bishop, I made sure I did what was right. I don't regret it as a bishop. If I go back and I will do something, I won't change my, my boss. I felt I did what was right. I established prayer group for the church, for the diocese. I also Divided from the school to two, to one from the school four. I had children from the school and I was in the school. But children will grow and uh, I started, I had what I call youth senior law school. We, my chancellor then, I had chancellors. I had the first one was um, one of the, who was the chancellor I had, my father bishop in the room. Then, Josie uh, Chendu, Josie Chendu was, my natural law, then just a bit, then I mean, it took me for a very long time. I retired with uh, Sayameka, it took uh, my chancel law. I worked with people who did very well with me. I had two treasurers, Rosi Chiku and the Demi Honda, then Dr. Honda, who did very well. And uh, my secretary, which um, Origi is the name, so Origi, just so Origi, they really helped me with this. And the pastors, they started cooperating with me when they found out what they said about me wasn't true.
beaming from the nation's capital, we bring to you the good news through various programming, news updates, worship and teachings. The paralysis of sin makes us to be separated from God. Contact us for your live streaming solutions and event coverage, such as synods, conferences, seminars, revivals and lots more. Engage us in showcasing your brands and services to the world through adverts and sponsorship. We also offer latest broadcast equipment for rent, all at affordable prices. Tune in to ACNN TV via any free to hear decoder with the following installation parameters. InterSat 20 satellite with tune-in frequency 12562 MHz, cylinder rate 30 MSPS, orbital position 68.5 degree east and horizontal polarization. You can also keep in touch with episodes of our programs via these social media platforms. For inquiries, please call 070-326-5644 or mail us via inquiries at acnntv.com. ACNN, reaching the world with the undiluted word of God. Now streaming, now analyzing, now assessing, now discussing. Now sharing your thoughts on everything and every issue that affects you. ACNN's Now Streaming discusses the issues trending and the matters that matter to us all. Join us every Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. on ACNN as we go in-depth into every issue that impacts our lives, our communities, and our country. I believe that the normal child, I do have to learn my baby baby the land. And at the time, I was speaking to the my land, my, my house. Actually. After the war, we went to my village, my hometown, Eleme, and then she I remember I wanted to lay off because I was not a Christian then, but I was careful the way I was living. My father was a chief, who was advising me not to be off. Um, um, I spent three years of my early years during the war. But my the highlight was uh, in 1971 when I did my life to Christ at the age of 23. So I didn't have much time to spend as a young man. At the age of 23, I'm now 72 plus. So I didn't spend so much time as a young person, as a after I said that I was a Christian, I was a Christian. When I gave my life to Christ, I became a Christian. Scripture union, for that matter, and I rose to become a grand patriot of Scripture union. So it means a lot. I was on my left, I was on the other committee, and so on. There was no time for any other thing. God and God alone was my honor, my about to me. I worked in retirement. I thank God I worked in retirement. And, uh, I've made a lot of lessons now that I retired, but nothing matters so much than God and yourself. There are things that I have matter so much before, they don't matter again. I have family cassettes, so many groups, so many dresses, I don't use them again. They don't matter again. I go to the port, buy a buy a wheelie, I want to buy clothes, buy shoes, buy shoes like that, I don't use them again. But nothing really matters again. And and what I have to learn that the people I can learn prepare me for retirement. I'm a loyal person. I've been loyal. I will learn to I can learn back to learn. Be loyal to him. I'll be loyal to you. Also be very loyal. I won't be telling about about them. Why do I have to learn? I didn't bother about it. I spoke. I defended them mighty well. But I learned again that the people prepare for retirement. Say that you say no, I'm tired. I'll be so cold. I'll not come back again. Sit me down and talk to me. He said that all this my head that they forget about me, that is true. They forget about me. About 12 bishops who are pastors of that me were made bishops, 12 persons who are made bishops. You can imagine that. The one of the other that then appeared to me that uh, nothing you should not nobody should die for anybody apart from God. If they 
You must say, or when this person is just saying, I will die. No, God be with me. Because to me, I used to sign some governors who insisted that we should replace my governors, and they want to teach us today. I can say, many that many governors, they say, unless this man is governor, I won't accept. But they want to teach us today. So, nobody should die for anybody. Pray and allow God to do what they want to do. I, my ministry was, you see, God prayed my ministry against certain calls. I didn't believe certain calls. I preached against them. I've not changed my views. I don't believe people don't believe doctors. I believe that people should be in God and God alone. If you are serving God, serve God. Don't join secret calls. Don't go to the doctors. Don't support anything outside of God. I've not changed my views. We are my business. If I go back again, I'll do the same thing. God is final. With God, you can do anything. I believe in prayer. There's nothing God cannot do with prayer. I preach holiness. I preach the welcome of Christ. I preach, I've not changed my views. I brought the scripture in ideas in my ministry as bishop. I really, the in I feel in my life, but there any other, the scripture in I feel in my life so much because they transformed my life. They made me also, my stay with them made me versatile. I became versatile as a bishop. I could manage, I could relate with uh, people from other churches. Other churches, I could relate with them because of my ministry at Central Union. The Baptist, with the Methodist, the Church, I could relate with them. Even more jobs have given me awards. About four times, they have given me an award. I know that those Muslims, they have this relationship, but they should allow us to worship our God, because they worship their God. I know that they believe in any way. I fancy that I can preach to them. They give me a word to have myself because up to them. I was kidnapped in, on September 6, 5, 19, 2012, I was kidnapped then with my wife. And what happened? I've written a book on it. The book is already with Amazon. And um, when we were kidnapped that day, they took us to his place. We sat down. They knew I was, I was wearing my poker sock. So they knew it was uh, something that was planned. And uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I, I just visited uh, the Negoa to attend for the standing committee meeting in the Negoa. And so when I came back, about to go for a wedding for the following day, that night we were kidnapped. We took the car from the driver and drove out to the bush. My wife and myself, they said we should sit down somewhere after working. So I told them, can I say something? They said yes. They said, can you leave my wife go? Can you let my wife go? I said no. Let her go. I can go with you. They talked to each other and then I was praying that she allowed her. I didn't want that. I didn't want them to stay with me. So they let her go. She went. She left. That was around 1.30 a.m. But I was afraid that anything could happen to her on the way. She went alone. I told her to escort her out. They were afraid they would be caught also. So my mom and I wasn't her comfortable where she was going. She left. But she went and she said that. She felt that angels were going leading her out. That it was dark. Not only dark, it was also a forest. But I was afraid. And then they took me to places until, by God's grace, after nine days, I was I have a book on that, which I will, it's already with Amazon, I will present the book sometime. So, but after then, the then governor, Amechi, Governor Amechi then, he wanted to give me policemen to take me around. I told him I didn't want to. The commissioner of police then, John, um, Joseph who came to me with his team, gave a policeman, I said, I don't want policemen, let me go and leave it. So up to now, I don't go policemen. I'm not against those who use policemen, but I believe that God can protect me anywhere I go. So after the kidnapped, initially I was afraid, but later I said, I can let me go, God can take me care of me. And ever since then now, God has taken care of me and my family.
I want to congratulate the primate, the primate uh, um, Archbishop uh, Henry Dukuba, and for what he's doing for these few months he's been. I want to thank him for the steps he's taking to do reconciliation all over the place. I pray that God will give him grace, God will give him wisdom and good health, himself and the family. And I also pray that we shall also support him wholly without reservation. We should give him the full support. So that because he was elected, he was not appointed, the people who elected him should support him. May God bless him and bless his ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. There is no substitute to knowing Christ. I've known Christ for the past 50 years. I said 51 years, 250 years now. Since January 15, 1971. And uh, there are ups and downs, but there's still no substitute. Uh, if I can recommend Christ up to now, and ask him to not just create cult, it means that I'm serious with Christ. Nobody should go to secret cult. Don't let people take you to native doctors. I have more power than them. I get a beard. I can I have a person over native doctors. Christ has given me authority, say I have given you authority to upon serpents, upon stockers, upon all the power of the enemy. That shall by any means help you. I can give testimony of people who, when I was their child, they tried to some one woman, I didn't know, I climbed the pulpit. And uh, the woman fell down. I didn't know I went to her by preaching. As I was preaching, after preaching, I came down. Member of the deliverance team called me to the vessel and said that uh, asked me if I saw somebody who fell down. I said, I saw the woman. The woman said that some light came from the pulpit and they took away her charms. I said, I didn't see any light. And the woman said, uh, they sent that woman poisoning me in the pulpit, a dish of me, <laughs> poisoning me in the pulpit. But the thing, that light came and took away the power they gave her. I said, nobody can, nobody can that to kill me because God has told me how long I'm going to stay. No bother, no power. No, even all native doctors combined, no witches, no wizards can do that to me. Not even sickle common, but they can all combine, they can't do me anything. Even now I'm retired. I still have authority, God has all retired. I'm only retired, God has all retired. So that power is still with me, anytime, anywhere. So I encourage people to serve God with their whole heart. If you serve God, God will never disappoint you at all. God is what made my wife and myself, our family, we have handed our back, accept you. Christ. When I got married to her, I lay hands with her and say, any child that we born to us and not be a Christian should die. And no, they didn't die. So all of them are Christians today by God's grace. And then when I told her how long God told me to leave, she said, she had them five more years. She has told God to add five more years to me. And God has not said anything. So when I was sick last year by March, I thought I was going to die, but he said that God has not told her I'm not going to die. God has told her, I've not told her that he will add five years to my what I told her. So I will die, one girl wants me to die. If I die, nobody should say anybody kill me. Until I die, I have a thought. Even if I'm on a sick bed, I can still pray for the sick, the sick will be healed. Anywhere I am. Because I believe that Christ has given me an authority. I still have an authority to now. Praise the Lord. So we should serve God. If you're a bishop, a pastor, a layman, serve God and God alone. That's not that substitute serving God. If you serve God, He will never disappoint you. Praise the Lord. And I, I want to see an essay, and then I started watching them a few about a year ago. They're doing very, very well. I told my wife, I didn't know that ACNN is going to be called and all of you who are doing very well, who are working here. I like your programs, your morning, morning prayers, your you have Bible passages you read on the Bible passages. You, at times you just read Bible passages on the screen. I love all of them. And I watch you almost always. And then the crusades, the divine meetings held. I will see them. God will bless you and God will prosper you in Jesus' name.